Welcome to Fantastic Vision. Please subscribe us before you watch today's video. China's science and technology have developed steadily over the past 10 years, and as a result, numerous exceptional businesses have sprouted up in China during this time. The rise of these companies caused the United States to feel as though its position had been threatened. As a result, the US revised the chip bill and joined forces with its allies Japan and the Netherlands to impose sanctions on China. Under the continuous revision of chip rules, the global cooperation of the chip industry has been blocked, the overall market environment has become complex and tense, and it is impossible to freely ship industry-related equipment and materials, causing more and more companies to fall into a deadlock. Middle. Under such circumstances, major chip manufacturers around the world began to choose to change lanes, to move forward, trying to break their dependence on the US technology system. Various countries and regions have launched independent research and development of technologies one after another, all thinking of giving the US semiconductor industry fatal blow. It is naturally impossible for American semiconductor to sit still and try to launch a new round of restrictive measures. This time it involves not only high-end levels such as 5G, but also 4G, Wi-Fi 6, 7, high-performance computers and other fields, trying to lock out the industrial process of Chinese enterprises. Listing so many fields is nothing more than showing off its own advantages, so that major chip manufacturers around the world understand that they are nothing without the US technology system. The United States has used this trick to scare off many companies. However, with Huawei's toughness, it has given enough confidence to the market's technology autonomy, and this paper tiger may soon be punctured. And these are just episodes, and the final competition has to return to the chip field. The chip starts with R&D and design, and the R&D design comes from the instruction set architecture. Previously, Intel's x86 monopolized the desktop market, and the ARM architecture was monopolizing the mobile market, the two are at peace with each other. So how did Alibaba become their competitor? The ARM architecture provoked public outrage. Until the emergence of the variable Apple, its M-series desktop chips, after adopting the ARM architecture, achieved very good performance, and the lightweight design is more in line with the needs of current PC computers, and Intel has thus lost Apple's big customer. After Apple's bold attempt, the disadvantages of the x86 architecture have been infinitely magnified, and the big cake of the desktop market has been torn apart. Intel's not thinking about making progress, even with high support, can barely achieve 7 nanometers chip manufacturing in the face of actual market demand led to the separation of the original little brother, AMD, and handed over the foundry order to TSMC. At present, the chain reaction has spread widely. As the world's largest chip manufacturer, Qualcomm has also begun to try to use the ARM architecture to enter the desktop market. It is destined that many companies will follow suit in the future, and the most uncomfortable one is Intel. x86 means admitting that you have lost, and it will be difficult to turn around later. On the surface, it seems that ARM company has won a big victory, but in fact it provoked public outrage. The reason is also very simple. Originally, ARM is a British company with completely independent technology, and there is no need to take into account the influence of the US technology system. 
However, hesitation and lack of assertiveness on the issue of authorization have also consumed the patience of a large number of customers. Huawei has been unable to obtain the latest architecture authorization from AIM, which has disappointed the entire Chinese market, and it is also doomed that enterprises are not reliable partners. Intel has also joined in. Can this be exchanged for a reshuffling of the global chip industry? Alibaba showed its trump card. ARM company has monopolized the global market, but has gradually lost people's hearts. Obviously, such a company cannot go far. Chinese companies have realized this a long time ago, and directly focused on the layout of the open source architecture risk v. Alibaba officially showed its cards. In a series of layouts for the risk v architecture, preparations have been made in terms of software and hardware ecology, and this is not empty talk. At present, Huawei and Alibaba have successively produced chips equipped with risk v architecture. Processors are already commercially available. According to statistics, more than 80% of the senior members in the RISC-V ecosystem are from Chinese companies, and they have mastered the core technology. Wujian 600-inch is dedicated to simplifying core making. Alibaba has also verified its own products very well. Based on the Wujian 600, Alibaba has developed a prototype SoC Shadow 1520 chip which directly broke all doubts from the outside world. Currently, the Alibaba RISC-V patch has been approved adopted by Google. Subsequent RISC-V chips will be used in smartphones. At the same time, Alibaba also understands that the RISC-V ecosystem is relatively weak, so it has shared many core technologies, trying to attract more chip manufacturers and better improve the ecological layout. Now that Intel has joined, it is bound to accelerate industrial upgrading and transformation. Once the RISC-V architecture is accepted by the market, Chinese companies will fully replace it, losing the Chinese market that consumes 70% of the chips, and the ARM architecture will break by itself. What do you think of this?